Hi everyone, this is Katia. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you how I created these really cute, ch charming square cards using a template that, that I created. Um, I know there are other uh, templates out there to create wreaths and such. I was I made my own version of stuff and for some reason I just couldn't get it to work because I don't like picking up the paper and risking getting ink on the little square panel. So I came up with this design and I like it because I was able to laminate it and I have all of the colors marked with the square sizes in the graduating colors. And what I love about it is I can go ahead and cut a piece of square, uh, square cardstock in any one of those sizes and then simply place it on top. And you can actually use removable adhesive right in the middle of the panel on the back, stick it down, and it will stick down onto the laminated piece of paper that I have here for the template. But I wanted to use some tape, some painter's tape, to just line it up just to show that you can use that too as well. So here I am taking some yellow painter's tape and, I, and at first you'll see me put it on the edge and then tuck it behind on the back of the template but I wind, wind up actually pulling it off and just putting it on the corners so it doesn't impede the edges of the template because I want it to be nice and clean and pretty accurate. So I taped down all four sides and um, this worked out beautifully. And what I like about this too is that I can see with the bright colors of the template, the laminated template behind it, um, I can see exactly where I'm placing my panel. Now here's the beautiful thing about this. I don't have to touch the paper. I don't have to risk getting ink on my cardstock and ruining it because I've done that before using this other template where you have to pick it up um, out of the center and I just didn't like that for myself. So what I found is if you keep the edges of this template right up against the corner of your stamping platform, not the other way, it works really, really well. And what I love is when you pick the stamp up, the template is strong enough and sturdy enough that it stays put without having to use magnets. And I like the magnets, but I sometimes find them a little too bulky and they get in the way of stamping. So I'm going to just show you really quickly how I stamp around in a circle and I can simply just slide the template around until it um, gets to the next side. And I like it because I don't have to touch the ink, I don't have to touch the paper, and I can simply keep stamping repeatedly until I have a ring all the way around. And it is an eight-sided template, and it's eight inches across. So I know that it fits in this larger stamp platform for Tim, from Tim Holtz Tonic, because um, that's what I'm using. But I also checked, and it actually fits the smaller one as well. I don't know if it fits the other ones. But anyway, I was pretty happy with how this turned out. And I love the fact that I did not have to touch the paper, get ink on my hands, and ruin my project, because I'm notorious for doing that, and I wind up starting projects over and over again. So I originally found out about some templates that are similar to this one on Maureen Wong's channel, and I will link to her channel down below. And back in 2015, she had these cool templates that she was featuring on her channel that a woman by the name of Cindy created. So they, they're called Cindy's Templates, and I think you can still download them today. Um, and I did download them, and I have them laminated, but they have grids on them, so they're more like mathematical type things. But I wanted to have just simple squares that I could see very visually easily and put my paper down, my cardstock on, and then uh, know what sizes they were. So I just created this colorful template for myself, and I made sure that um, since it's an octagon and you're stamping around in a circle that I would be able to easily just maneuver the disc, if you will, all the way around in a circular pattern, um, but make sure that it was easy for me to line up my paper. So I came up with this, and I think it worked out really well, and I love it, and I love how easy it is. It makes me giddy when I come up with stuff that um, makes stuff easy for myself that I can use to make really, really pretty, colorful cards that I wouldn't already um, otherwise do. So here I am just uh, stamping um, other flowers within that circle, and then next I will actually stamp some really miniature, really small miniature hearts right below that. And then I wind up using Prismacolors in sort of like a rainbow fashion. And I do that coloring off camera, but I will show you what the final card looks like um, once I try to assemble, uh, when, I, when I assemble the card and put it all together. So here's one of the last stamping that I do with the flowers. And here is a close-up of how the flower assembly came together. I think it turned out really cute and I can't wait to color it. Okay, so rather than bore you with watching me stamp that little heart 
over and over again in a circle using the same repeated fashion by twisting the laminated template underneath. Um, I'm just gonna just cut to the chase and get right to the end. So you're gonna see me stamp this once and then I'm going to turn it and then you're going to see me go through it very, very quickly. Um, just because nobody needs to see me spin this disc around repeatedly over and over again. And the coloring I did on this was pretty basic, so rather than have you watch me color, I'll just put the assemble the card when it's all complete, um, and then I'll show you how I put that together. And then I'll show you an example of another one that I did using this same template creator. So here's the finished panel um, before I colored it. And then what's nice is that I can just simply peel the tape right off of the cardstock, and I have no ink on it, I didn't damage it. Um, and I think it turned out great, and I, I love the results. I think it's very pretty. And I think this one was a five, um, five inch square, or maybe a 4.25, I don't remember, four and a quarter. Anyway, so that is what the panel looks like before I colored it. And there I am just wiping off that little stamp there before I put it away and, and lose it, <laughs> like I'm notorious for doing as well. And I decided on a bright color pink because I'm not ready for fall yet and I adhered this panel onto some really pretty pink cardstock to keep it kind of bright. And then I used the sentiment that came with the stamp that says bloom and grow. And I adhered the colored panel to the top of my pink cardstock and it's a perfect square. So I just had a thin border all the way around. And off camera too, once I was done coloring with all of those Prismacolored pencils, I adhered those a flat uh, sequence directly to certain parts of the flower in um, very in, uh, re uh, skipping each skipping one of the flowers each time that was a little tricky to say and I also put a piece of foam adhesive on the back of my sentiment centered that up on the card on the card in the center and there is my finished card I think it turned out great and I love how it turned out and I love how those sequins pick up the colors of each one of those flowers. And I just adhered them with some glossy accents because uh, I think that's a pretty strong adhesive. So uh, here's an example of the Love Bug card that I made as well in a smaller size. And so I love it. Tell me what you guys think. Um, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos from me. I hope you have a great afternoon and ciao for now.